everybody. We're going to review three RV parks in Huntsville, Alabama for you today. The first one being the Space and Rocket Center RV Park just off of I-565 near the Marriott Hotel. It is attached to the property for the Space and Rocket Museum so that gives you uh, something special to do in this area that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, turning into the RV park there's a teeny tiny little sign before you get to the hotel so be on the lookout for that. One of the nice things we like about this park is it is close to the Space and Rocket Center. There's all sorts of activities, museums, interactive rides, interactive science projects. There's also a uh, IMAX theater that allows you to see above you and to your left and right. It looks like a full uh, 360 degree circle in there that you can see the films of uh, outer space and rocket launches and people ejecting from the emergency hatch and things like that so it's a full experience. This campground has 27 sites so it's rather small but it is convenient. It's convenient to downtown Huntsville, it's convenient to the interstate, it's convenient to the Space and Rocket Center and it's convenient to the military base there if you're coming to visit friends or family that are serving in the in the military and they're stationed on Redstone Arsenal. So you've got laundry, bathroom facilities, shower facilities. Their full hookups or what they consider full hookups is 30 amp power only with water and sewer. The rates are $25 per night plus taxes. It's 160 per week so not much discount there then $640 per month basically no discount per month it's still $25 a night. The office hours are between 8 and 5 on Saturday it's between 8 and 2 and they are closed on Sunday but it's a nice uh, campground it's pretty roomy a lot of pull through sites but I think the majority of them are actually uh, back end sites but it's easy access and if you've got a, a towed or a vehicle that you tow your fifth wheel or trailer with to drive around it's convenient to run right over to the museum and see all the things that has to offer. Another thing the museum offers is a bus tour with guided information, a tour guide on the bus to show you about the Marshall Space Flight Center and all the things that went on during the uh, space program and the moon launches and shuttle they have a mock-up of the shuttle uh, life-size so you get to see how enormous this thing is and the fact that that thing can take off and go into orbit and come back and do it again another day was just pretty amazing to me uh, so anyway that's the first of the three campgrounds that we're going to show you uh, today on this tour in Huntsville Alabama we homeschooled our children, so we went on many field trips through the years. The Space and Rocket Center was one of our favorites. There was always lots of fun activities and learning experiences. You need about four to six hours to see it and enjoy everything. Uh, the pricing is four and under is free. Five to 12 year old is $17 and 13 and above is $25. They also have a space camp and a bus guided tour. It does seem a little pricey, but it's well worth it for what you get to do. You can also bring a picnic lunch to enjoy outside. And then there's always the rocket ships to take lots of pictures with, which the kids always like that. There's lots of different activities on the inside of the buildings that you can do. There's a moonshot, a G-force accelerator, a Mars climbing wall, a Mars PlayStation, and also there's a kids space for smaller children that has lots of games to play. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all three engines up and burning, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. took a short drive through the uh, military RV campground on Redstone Arsenal. 
Uh, we're not supposed to film any part of the uh, Army base for obvious reasons, but the campground itself is advertised publicly, so that wasn't a security issue. So they have 42 sites they've just renovated, so they've added concrete sites. Uh, they've doubled their number of spaces. It's now 42 sites. They have 20, 30, and 50 amp sewer and water hookups. The daily rate is $20 per night and weekly rate is 120 and there is no monthly. You just pay by the week uh, for the best discount. Uh, there has limited cable TV. There is an RV storage lot as you'll see on the right as we go in. Uh, they have a dog run and uh, they have a sewer dump station if you don't use the local sewer for whatever reason they have a dump station uh, they have laundry they have showers they have a playground picnic area there's a golf course really as a matter of fact two 18 hole golf courses really close by exit from the park is right at the commissary so you can buy your uh, assuming your military access allows you to buy from the commissary there's a fitness center close by movie theater and just outside the army base you're pretty much in downtown Huntsville so there's every kind of food and restaurants you can imagine and all sorts of activities and uh, other golf courses and shopping malls and all that kind of stuff uh, the authorized users to this is active National Guard reservists retired 100% disabled veterans and Department of Defense civilians and NASA employees so basically if you got access to get on the base yourself some sort of badge that allows you to get onto the base you could stay at this campground and it's a really nice campground it just is restricted to military service personnel or uh, DOD civilians or NASA employees All right, our third and final review of the three campgrounds in Huntsville, Alabama is Monsanto State Park. Its address is 5105 Nolan Avenue in Huntsville. It is a state park, so you can make reservations through the alapark.com website, or you can call them and make reservations over the phone. 1,650 feet at its highest point, but there's one obstacle course you got to go through to get there now we drive a 40-foot motorhome towing our vehicle we've really never had a problem you just can't get up any speed or momentum when you're climbing up to the campground uh, because of the curve but it does have one pretty steep spot just wanted to give you that heads up uh, it's located on 2340 acres five miles east of downtown Huntsville so from either way you can drop off the mountain to the north side or the south side uh, and and it puts you right in the downtown uh, one one area puts you down in the uh, the south side puts you down at the hospital and the medical center area uh, the north side will put you down at what's called five points there's some restaurants and shops and a little uh, pretty well stocked grocery store down there as well uh, this uh, has 14 rustic cabins, and they are rustic, I gotta say. They kind of look like they're about to fall in, but they still rent them out, and they have fireplaces, and they are meant to be rustic. Uh, they also have 89 campsites. Uh, they have full hookups and partial hookups, as most campgrounds do, and they have a primitive campground area as well. Uh, I, I will give you a heads up too. Two times I've gone there and checked in and they tell me, hey, there's no 50 amp service here whatsoever. And I questioned one lady because I thought she hadn't worked there long and she probably wasn't sure. And I told her I've been there uh, several times and I've used my 50 amp without a dog bone. And uh, she got pretty irritated that I didn't believe her but I will show you in this video there is a 50 amp socket there and I've used it without a dog bone now what it, it very well could be is the fact that they have 50 amp receptacles for you to plug into that are protected with 30 amp breakers 
I don't know, but she's pretty adamant that they don't have 50 amp service, and I have used the 50 amp receptacles, and I'll show you the picture. I think it actually just did show you the picture there uh, as it went by. So we just wanted to give you a heads up on the three campgrounds that are uh, easy access. The Monsanto would be the least accessible as far as uh, driving your RV and pulling the tow because it's pretty steep incline to get there. It's pretty nice, but it is a state park. If you're just going to drive through there, uh, they will charge you $5 a head to go into the park. If you're driving your RV, then you don't have to pay an entrance fee because you're paying a nightly campground fee. So just be aware of that. They do have a nice playground. They've got a nice Japanese garden, walking trail. They also have a uh, Frisbee golf course that's available. Uh, one other thing is since Huntsville is a very uh, well known for its space program, they have a planetarium, planetarium, however you say that, and they have movies uh, every Saturday night. Uh, explaining about the stars and space and all that kind of good stuff. So it's a good place to stay, I think. How long has everybody been RVing? We've been RVing 30 plus years, traveled all the 50 states, and there's still a lot of things we'd love to go back and do. So where's your want to's? How many places have you been? Put it in the comments below. And a lot of the interaction comes from your comments, so other people will comment on your comments. And we love to meet new people and make new friends that have common interests. So leave us a comment below and subscribe and like and all those kind of good things that keeps us motivated and inspired to keep bringing videos.